as AB says, let's not over talk it. <laughs> Welcome back to Kevin's Kitchen, everybody, and today we are making smothered pork chops. These are all the spices that you're going to need for your video. One of my favorite new dishes to make. Uh, a new twist. We're going to start off by adding our uh, pork seasoning. And you want to definitely make sure you season generously on both sides of this. Why? Because you eat both sides. You need all that delicious goodness, you know? And we'll go with our Himalayan pink salt. Not too much, just enough. But the spirit gives you. Adding on our fresh cracked black peppercorns. Never too much pepper, never. I had my butcher especially cut these for me. They were literally two and a half inches thick. I've never had a bone in pork chop this thick in my life. We added in some garlic powder and finishing up with some Cajun seasoning just to give it that extra special kick. Per always and per usual, a full list of ingredients are gonna be in the description box down below. All right, give her a little flip. There we go. Man, these are just absolutely beautiful. And just repeat the steps that you just did. Season, season, season. Oh, these are gonna be heavenly. This video actually should have come out a while ago, but I have been very, 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 very busy trying to film and create new content for you guys. And I really hope that you're enjoying everything that you see. I wholeheartedly appreciate everyone who is subscribing to these videos. Alrighty, you're gonna render your fat cap off just a little bit and be generous with the oil in this pan. They might fall over on you, but you wanna really render that side. See, balance, they fall off. Hold it for as long as you possibly can. Get a good, beautiful crust on that, and then lay it on its side. And you're gonna want to sear this in this pan undisturbed. Use a heavy bottom pan that's got great heat distribution and really sear this for about three to four minutes a side. You're looking for a beautiful golden crust. You'll know when you found it. Don't be afraid to press down a little bit just to make sure you get full surface heat. All the surface heat, this looks wonderful. And I think it's just about time that we check for our crust. You can see here on the side when the color starts to move its way up the protein, that we're just about ready to flip. You're gonna be surprised at what I do with these pork chops here in just a second. Oh my gosh, y'all look at that. Absolute heaven. Everything I was looking for, the depth and complexity of this pork chop already. Wonderful. That's exactly what you're looking for. And don't be afraid of a little backsplash there when it comes to the oil popping and get you. You know, you can use a fry shield if you must. Uh, the grease definitely blesses the, uh, the stove there. We are using our Ninja Foodie air fryer to finish these off. I'm actually gonna uh, air roast these, if you will. I've got my temperature probe here on the side. This has been preheated and we are ready to go. Gonna place these in and this should be big enough for the both of these. Temperature probes being stirred. Come on. There we go. And you wanna definitely roast these or air fry these uh, to an internal temperature that's gonna give you a perfect medium 
rare plus medium. I love a good medium pork chop, especially one this big. I set mine to 140 degrees knowing that I'm gonna let it rest to get over that safe temperature of 145 degrees. And the temperature gauge will tell you when it comes up to temperature and it will actually automatically turn itself off. The cool thing about um, making these pork chops this way is it saves a tremendous amount of time. It doesn't heat your, uh, your house up having to utilize going in with the oven and it's, it's just awesome and I love these things. I am definitely a fan of the air fryer nation, like I'm here for it. We're getting there. Look, it's a little peak. Look at that. The depth and complexity of flavors already just smacking me in the lips. I can't wait. We have entered the safe zone of 140 degrees. We're going to leave this alone now and let it rest and let itself come up to temperature. See how it's continuing to go? A little peak. Hey, put the lid down. Save the heat. You'll eat soon enough. And here we have let it rest. We are over 145 degrees and we are ready to start plating. Uh, I could just bite the entire thing caveman style right now, but <laughs> we're not about to do that. I made a little San Francisco treat, a little rice aroni homemade because that video is going to come soon and you'll be surprised at just how easy it is to make rice aroni. But the piece of resistance, <laughs> however you say it, my onion gravy. I needed to smother this with something. I didn't want a deep fried pork chop because that's traditionally how the smothered pork chops are done. But my gravy game is strong. I can't hold a candle to my cousin LaShawn. She is remarkable with the gravy. But I do all right. Oh, ho, 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 ho. As Mr. Make It Happen would say, this classifies folks as some grade A quality food porn. Just saying. It's always that second scoop. Look at the onions. Look at it. Just drizzle on down. <laughs> Come on, baby. Let's eat. Let's go. And let's have. I want to thank you all very much if you've made it this far into the video without skipping and you've watched the entire video. It means so, so much to me and it helps to fix the uh, algorithm so that my video can get out to more individuals. Let's give this a quick little cut and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're not new to my channel, welcome back. I've missed you. It's so good to see you. Look forward to hearing from you in the comments. Y'all, <laughs> look at the size of this pork chop first and foremost. Smothered. Thumbnail. But like, it's huge. Got a great deal, don't worry. And of course, I had to pair it with my homemade onion gravy, that recipe will be somewhere soon. And I just kind of felt a little San Francisco treat, a little rice aroni in my spirit. So I bought a box and made it. So, taste test, look at this. Thick, juicy pork chop, perfect medium, 145 degrees, rest, I let it rest for 10 minutes and As AB says, let's not over talk it. Baby! <laughs> oh, wow. Yep. I'm a keeper. <laughs> Y'all already know what it is. Talk to you later. I can't even continue to speak, but I am going to continue to eat. <laughs> and I'll see you next week. <laughs> okay, bye.